Johnny Clayton tritt an gegen den älteren Bruder von Kim Heibrecht. Die European Darts Championship 2013 waren sein Turnier bei der BDC. Damals erreichte er das Halbfinale und schlug unter anderem auch Phil Taylor. Die aktuelle 46 der Welt aus Belgien, The Rebel, Ronnie Heibrecht. Und Caller dieser dritten Partie ist The Voice himself. Herzlich willkommen, Russ Bray. Well, the Happy Bet German Darts Masters continues here at the Sparkassen Arena in Jena. And Russ Bray on stage for the first time this weekend to call the Rebel versus the Ferret. It's Belgium versus Wales as Ronnie Hybrex takes on Johnny Clayton. Ronnie and Johnny fighting out for a place in the second round to face Simon Whitlock, as always, the seeded players entering at the second round stage. Usually that's on a Saturday, it'll be a Sunday. Sure, we'll get the days wrong at some point over the course of this weekend. But for now, I can tell you, without any mistake, that Chris Murphy joins me in the commentary box, Dan Dawson. For this one, how do you see this one going? Yeah, no better way to spend your Friday afternoon, Dan, or Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how do I see it going? I've got no idea, Dan, to be honest. Uh, Justin Pipe, I, I claim to be a big favourite in the very first match mm -hmm. of the day, and that went 6-0 to his opponent. This one, um, one of the close matches of this round, in, in my opinion. Although the form book would probably give the edge slightly to Ronnie Hybrex. In the last six months, Ronnie has made two hey, pro tour finals. First leg, Ronnie to throw first. Game on! Yeah, he's made two Pro Tour finals. He's hit a nine data for good measure as well, in which period uh, Johnny Clayton's not been past the third round of anything. Yeah, curious that, because Johnny looked... One oh. round and oh, I was going to say, Johnny looked to be really establishing himself in the PDC over last year, but Ronnie Hybrex really has had something of a resurgence. Just put that in context, 96. two finals in the last six months. He'd only made one final in the PDC prior to that, and that's when he first came over. Yeah, oh, Ronnie. Oh. He chucked in wow. that perfect leg, Dan, didn't he? In Wigan at the UK Open qualifiers. Went on to reach a final that day. I remember it. We all remember it, Dan. Wow. <laughs> Ronnie Hybrex's his first career nine darter. Four perfect darts to start this game. Well, that was against Darren Webster, who also hit one the same day. About an hour before. Yeah. 55. But there is no record of it. Disappeared from the darting archive. It's it did happen, I saw it. Internet just deleted 59. it. And then Ronnie just looking to set this up. Fifty-nine. Uh, no trouble. Just opens the door for Clayton to come back into this. He needs to find one himself, but not that one. Forty-two. The dart kind of went in at a strange Ronnie angle. Ronnie require one hundred and ten. Could have been as, re as a result of brushing the flight that was. Poking out of the 20, but now Hybrex will get a dart at double. Game Solid Sean start from leg. the Belgian. Ronnie Hybrex, second leg, Johnny to throw first. Well, kicks off with a 177. Finishes with a ton plus checkout. 15 dart leg One and a break of throw. 35. Ronnie Hybrex will be very, very happy. Oh, sorry, a hold of throw. Very happy with how this is started off. At it again, Dan. First start in the treble 20. 99. A good start from Clayton in this leg. We spoke about his nine dart leg. We've had two nine darters in just over a week. Steve Beaton in the European Tour 3 qualifier in Barnsley on Friday a week ago. And Adrian Lewis with the 15th of the year in the Premier League on Thursday night. Incredible standard. We're only in April. 15 nine darters. Yeah, and countless others missed on the final dart. None, of course, on the European tour. Well, obviously. Plenty One of that, though. <laughs> Maximum for Johnny Clayton. Johnny 
could still leave a finish. And does do. 38. Tony, you require 146. Will he get a go? Will he get a go? Might not. One oh. On the wire from Johnny Clayton. Ronnie, now this would hurt. Just above the treble bed. Clayton will return, looking at that double 16. 16. He narrowly missed for the big finish. Ronnie, require to level things up at one apiece. Now then. Game oh. show on the wow. second leg. Ronnie Hybrex having taken Clayton. out 110 Third in the first leg. leg. Might have fancied first. his chances, but Johnny Came Clayton on. shuts the door. Yeah, I think Johnny Clayton might have fancied Ronnie's chances as well, so he'll be a relieved man after landing the double eight. Clayton, incidentally, one of five Why Welshmen not? in the field this weekend, four of which are in action this afternoon. Ninety-seven. Yeah, thirty-two players in action today. Thirty-two again tomorrow because we lose sixteen, but we bring in the sixteen seeded players for the second round. That's when the likes of Michael Van Gerwen, Peter Wright. Oh, it's one another one seven seven for Ronnie Hybrex. Yeah, we'll see Ronnie's brother Kim in action as well. You already know who Kim's going to be playing. It'll be Daniel Larson, the Swede, who kicked things off here at the German Darts Masters with a 6-0 win against Justin Pike. You mentioned how Johnny Clayton, over the last few months... Ronnie require 100 has not really what he's been doing the sort of six six months year prior to that. One six four is not going to go. In fact, it dates all the way back to August for Johnny Clayton. He made a semi final on the Pro Tour, and that's when you were thinking, when well, he keeps going further and further and further, he keeps playing really good darts. Maybe he could go on and win something. He's beaten six 0 by Gary Anderson in that semi final. Well, and he's not been Ronnie require anywhere near even a quarter final since. No, but the results themselves, he's, he's rarely beaten, uh, you said 6-0 by Anderson in the semi-final, he's rarely beaten like that, is he? You don't mm. often see Johnny Clayton beaten 6-0, six 6-1, nil, six a lot of 6-4, six 6-5. Four, six Gary Anderson could beat anybody 6-0. He's done it Michael Van Gerwen twice in the last three, four years. Is that in? If it is, it's bullseye. 98. Ronnie it wasn't in. 60. So Ronnie Hybrex to hold his throat. Double tough he wants. Game and there it the is. Ronnie Hybrex looking pretty Ronnie solid Hybrex on double top right now. First. And that is ominous for Clayton. Because Hybrex, as we said, he has the capability to turn up on days and it just be very, very solid. I mean, as things stand, Ronnie's averaging in the mid-90s. It's good. It's not spectacular, but it's good enough to win games if you're good on your doubles. And so far, Ronnie Hybrex is two for two on his doubles. Looking at tops for 110 and tops for 60. Both first darts. Forty-three. An old-fashioned style, methodical thrower, Ronnie Hybrex. Takes his time, takes aim. the two Belgians in the field, the Hybrex brothers. 60. But there are a lot of young Belgian players coming through. Dimitri Vandenberg, we've seen plenty of on the European tour. Mike Gadecker, of course, having some success on wow. the youth tour. So Kenny Nayans on the youth mm -hmm. tour as well, had a nine darter himself. Development tour nines, just not European tour nines. But it's not all about perfect legs, it's about winning matches. Pipe earlier on today, Dan had a fabulous start to his game and then messed up from the 164. It just went rapidly downhill from there. Certainly did. Not quite enough for Clayton to get to a finish. Hybrex has just stolen the march on him this leg. Could we see the first break of throw in this match? But if he 
gets one treble, Clayton will certainly be sweating. 100. Sweat away, Ferret. Oh, what a response. 100. Yeah, well, that should give him two darts for the leg if he returns, because Hybrex has not missed a dart at a double yet. Needs to find a treble with one of his first two, though. Not that treble. 93 left over the 19s. No, not going to happen then. So Johnny Clayton will come back looking 14. at 20 for tops for a 2-2 game. Johnny requires 60. Double top it is. Game shot. And double Pope top flag. he gets. And it is 2-2. Two -two. And you Fifth asked running at throat seven first. minutes ago, game Dan, on. how I thought this would go. We're still no closer to knowing. No, not really, but it's certainly going to be closer than the first two games we've seen at the Happy Bet German Darts Masters. But Ronnie what? fires in a maximum. That's his first 180. But when he's thrown first in this match, he has fired in a big three treble visit in each of those legs. Good response from Clayton. If Ronnie carries on like this, there'll be nothing he can do. He is outscoring, Johnny. 41. Clayton quite handily illustrating that point with a bit of 41 there, just easing the pressure on the Belgian. Doesn't help him, though. 81. Last start. Furious when you see the... That stand that two out of two on the doubles, outscoring him heavily. Yet two legs 60. to two, the one that matters. Ronnie, you mm. require 140. Well, Johnny has been quite good at missing with his first two darts at the double and then pinning it last time, whereas Ronnie's just taken it out first dart. And he may well do it again here. If he does, it's another big finish. And the trouble 16 for double 16 route, and there's nothing wrong with that when you've got, you know, a 120 point head start and he's not on a finish. Because he set it up very nicely anyway. He'll come back looking at double eight. He does like that bottom left bit of the board. Does Ronnie Hybrex? How about this? Well, for a bit of pressure me. to leave him a Shanghai Ronnie finish. Well, Hybrex hasn't missed yet on the outer ring. Why Game start now? The fifth leg. Ronnie Hybrex. Six leg Johnny to throw first. Well, Ronnie Hybrex keeps throwing like that on his own throw. Johnny Clayton is going to have to come up with something pretty special to break him. This faces Simon Whitlock, well, of course, the man who well, beat Ronnie Hybrex in both of those finals that we mentioned on the Pro Tour over the last six months. Oh, Ronnie did have darts to beat him in the first one in Ireland. Well, I'm not we were commentating on that. I thought the first one was, I thought one of them was in. It was close. Looking at maybe a millimetre away from your first PDC title. Well, that's when Whitlock had back to back nine dart attempts in that final as well and lost one of those legs. Mm. If I remember correctly, it was Nightly Whitlock Whitlock again, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. In Wigan. It was indeed. Well, his brother Kim, one of the players to have won more than one of these European Tour events. And if Ronnie plays like this all weekend, then he's going to throw his hat into the ring. Well, you can't rule him out. He's capable of beating anybody. I think, you know, the standout... 59. performance we've seen from Ronnie in his PDC career was that victory over Phil Taylor at the European Championship but you know he's shown with his three runs to finals on the Pro Tour that he is capable of putting himself in positions to win things he just hasn't quite got over the line can he get over the line here well not with the one two one finish but he has left himself three darts at double 12 unless Clayton takes out a massive one and he might yet do it oh needed another one for a go at double 15 98. Ronnie required 24. The three darts it is, usually, only needs just the one. So far it's been the case. But he hasn't had a chance to break the throw as yet. 
Crucial Twelve moment score. in the game. Starks missing doubles. Ronnie Hybrex, three darts to break, all missed by the Belgian. Johnny Clayton to level it up again. Game and there it is. The Johnny Clayton, Johnny a let off for the Welshman. Ronnie to throw first. Well, three more Welshmen in action this afternoon. Jamie Lewis, Robert Owen and Mark Webster. All playing wow, here in Yerna. Gilwin Price also joins the field tomorrow. Yeah, one of the four men, Gilwin wow, Price, been very, very impressive. Players. Going from strength to strength. And his first big TV final at the UK Open, of course, beaten by Peter Snape by right. Wi-Fi will be a breaking point in Wales this afternoon, Dan. All the Welsh darts fans tuning in to see their heroes. Eight. Webster against Robbie Green, probably the pick of those matches, the pick of this afternoon's matches, in my opinion. So this is not a bad one. Certainly not. Johnny Clayton has won a... He's a Welsh international, of course, won the WDF Europe Cup team event, playing alongside the likes of Martin Phillips. Heck of a run they had as well. It was only wow, a couple wow, of years ago, 2015. Wow, beat Scotland in the quarterfinals, that included Ross Montgomery. Semi-final Netherlands, including Nopper, Harms, De Graaf. And then they beat England in the final. And the England team had Durant, Waits, Mitchell and Wilson. That is some team. 96. Well, here... Do only require 146? Johnny Clayton. Well, he's still in a decent position. Hybrex can only possibly get one dart at double. 88. What do you require 108? Clayton should return with two, unless. Well, he's given himself a chance, and it's at double 14. Ronnie Hybrex pins Game it, and there we go. Normal man. service resumed Ronnie for Ronnie Hybrex after they missing darts Johnny in the previous the leg. Came on. He has still not missed a dart at double on his own throw. 46. Well, he doesn't need to break Johnny Clayton to win this match, Hybrex. He seems to have found a level of consistency 60. in terms of performance that all the games that I've seen, whether on the live stream here on the European Tour, in TV events or on the floor now, he's averaging sort of high 90s, oh, mid to high 90s, nearly every time he plays. That'll help Clayton's average increase. Yeah, well, it will win your games. And as we've seen, at some point over the course of a tournament, you're going to have to put in a spurt to beat somebody, to stop them taking the game away from you. But he is capable of doing that. All these guys are capable of you know, going 12, 11, 12 over three legs, and in short format game, that can be enough to turn the tide in your favour. Johnny Clayton may need to do something like that against Ronnie Hybrex, because at the minute, it's very, very difficult to break the Belgian's throw. Ooh, this could make things interesting. Oh. Well, he's had two 187s now. Three 177s. 100. He may only get a dart at the bullseye when he returns. Hybrex can apply a bit of pressure here. It could change the game massively in his favour. Oh, that's perhaps not enough. Tony, you require 90. Now then, starting at the ball. Oh, he's gambled. And it hasn't paid off. 54. Ronnie, you require 146. I don't think he'd have done that if Hybrex would have been on a, a smaller finish. Mm. But two trebles for a dart at a double is needed by Ronnie Hybrex, and he's not going to get a go at it. But Johnny Clayton, for an eighth consecutive hold of throw in this game. There have been Johnny little chances 40. to break. Ronnie Hybrex with the best one, missed three darts in the sixth leg. Is Johnny Clayton going to allow him any more in this one? Well, he might do, because that's a little bit awkward, it looks like. Game no, wow. Once again, Johnny, Johnny Clayton, Clayton pressure on. Last start, finds the double. First. Game on. Well, it's always impressive when these guys will pin darts 
at the double first dart without wasting them. And it looks great for the average as well. Ronnie Hybrix has been doing that a lot in this game. But Johnny Clayton, pressure on. Last dart, he has been absolutely terrific. Well, we had one dart Manly. How about three dart Clayton? Mm. Anything better than a ferret? Mm. Like the ferret. And there it is on the back of his shirt. Still not got to the bottom of why he's called a ferret. I'm not sure I want to. Just leave it to your imagination. Maybe better for all of us. Whatever you call him, he's got to find a break from somewhere. And he is pretty much level pegging with Ronnie Hybrex in this leg. What a time to break it would be. If he doesn't get a treble here, Ronnie Hybrex, he's not going to be down to a finish, and this might be the chance. Treble 19 would leave 170. And he doesn't get it. Now Johnny Clayton. Ton gives you a chance. Ton 40 gives you a good chance. Ton 80, well. Oh. But he can't produce any of them. You often wonder how much dart players are thinking about that, seeing their opponent's last score. Right, I need to hit something here. And the very top ones in the world invariably do. 80. Well, that is an unfortunate bounce out from Ronnie Hybrex. It's cost him at least 20 points. And it could well prove to be decisive. Because Johnny Ronnie Clayton's got a Shanghai finish. One treble for a dart at a double. Ronnie Hybrex here, one treble. We're only getting a dart for the ball. Treble 20. For that dart at the bullseye. Gets it. Steps back. Well, he's having a look at Clayton's score. I think he'll be going for the ball. He has to. Game shot on a ninth leg. Ronnie Ibrox, tenth leg. He has to, and he nails on. it. And once again, Ronnie Hybrex, he is yet to miss a dart at double on his own throw. And once again, 16. Johnny Clayton was there or thereabouts ready to pounce. And Ronnie Hybrex has denied him with an absolute stunner. He's had checkouts of 110, 108, and that, a 1 2 8 on the bullseye, the pick of them. And the showmanship, Dan. Step back, had a look around. 100. Nine legs. Every single one of them a hold a throw. One hundred. Finishing is good. It's pretty. That's kind of what Johnny Clayton would expect from himself. He's not playing brilliantly to be taken out 40%. 63% is world class. Especially when one of those is on the ball, right? 80. He just seems to have edged it, but will there be some kind of twist? One round of 40. Because it's looking like going all the way. A 180 may change the course of action here. Not going to get it, but it is nip One and tuck. Johnny Clayton. So often he's had to deal with Ronnie Hybrex breathing down his neck on his own throw. He's managed just about to hold him off. One hundred. Until now, maybe. Last dart maybe could have looked at the bullseye, taken the five off to leave a two darter rather than a three dart 101. But it's Johnny three dart Clayton, it won't matter. One hundred and five. Johnny oh, Ronnie using the 25 to get down below 121. One. Now 81 remain. Double 12 for Johnny Clayton. 77. Misses this Ronnie time. Well, for a four, some plus finish to win the match. With the first break of throw. Oh, Hybrex can't do it anymore. He cannot do it anymore. If he just hit a single 20, if he'd hit the trouble five, he'd still been able to do it. But you can't take out 111 in two dots. Especially 15. not. Well, that is a shocker of a visit from Ronnie Hybrex. He's his worst one of the match. Johnny Double Clayton 12. to take us all away. Game shot. Second dart this time. Bag. Johnny Clayton, the 11th and final. And we away. have had Bobby 10 first. straight. Came on. Hold the throw. <laughs> if that continues, high breaks go through. But will the Belgian buckle?
it will be a heartbreaker for Ronnie Hybrex if you go through 10 legs of graft and sweat and effort and then get broken in the decider. So start low, may have to switch. No, he finds a way over it. AC1. Simon Whitlock, the number four seed this weekend, former winner on the European Tour, former European champion, awaits the winner of this tie. Whitlock, the man who has beaten Ronnie Hybrex in both of his PDC finals in the last six months. And look at that. Every single leg in five or six visits. It's been pretty consistent stuff. But what Ronnie will look at, is those legs against the throw, four of them, he knows he would have won if he'd thrown a 15 darter. If he does go on to win this, he'll have thought, I could have won it a bit easier. If he doesn't, he knows where he's lost. It. Well, he had an unfortunate bounce out earlier on, but this one could prove to cost him the ultimate price. Trebles needed. 41. 104 points clear, plus these. Well, let's make it 105. Better. And the Rebel has given himself an opportunity, down to 140 checkout. Johnny Clayton is not going to be on a finish, and that means that Ronnie Hybrex has got six starts to see off 140. He'll be happy with a ton here, just needs to stay straight. Even a 60 should mean he gets himself a match dart. Yeah, lovely stuff. 100. Sensible last start as well, making sure he was nowhere near the treble and the potential to bust that. 59. Well, Ronnie, you require 40. it has been edgy, it has been nervous. Ronnie Hybrex has just shaded, in my opinion. He's had the better opportunities to break the throw. Nobody's managed it in the end. And Ronnie Hybrex looks at tops. As the first start, he's missed a double on his own throw. And that's number two. And that well. has left him five as well. Ronnie Hybrex, deadly on his own throw when it came to killing off legs, has somehow just completely crumbled there and made this a little bit trickier 90th. than it might have been. Ronnie, you require five. Well, you got yourself into this mess, Ronnie. You get yourself out of it. Double two. Double one. Would Free you score. believe it? He has never Johnny looked like being broken. 68. But he could be a broken man if Johnny Clayton lands this 68 checkout. I said this would be heartbreaking for Ronnie Hybrex to lose in this manner, Great but I shot. did not expect and that match. to happen. Johnny Ronnie Hybrex, clinical for five legs on his own throw. It comes to the decider and he cannot get the job done. Johnny Clayton steals it from under his nose. A 6-5 win and Clayton will face Whitlock in the second round of the German Darts Masters. Johnny Clayton, er profitiert davon, dass Ronny Heibrecht sechs Matchstarts da nicht zumachen kann. Und damit zieht er in die zweite Runde ein. Schwein gehabt. Johnny, congratulations. It was kind of close at the end. A big, big chance for Ronny, wasn't it? Yeah, Ronny missed his Matchstarts and um, he had the five to leave five. And that's the worst nightmare. Like. So I just hope that he missed, obviously, double two. And he did. And it was my luck. It was a very long match, yeah, very intensive. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, if you play the likes of Ronnie, definitely you are going to get big matches. I don't think one of us really relaxed, but, you know, against Ronnie, total respect, because what a great guy, a great player. Yeah. Simon Whitlock is waiting. He's, he's playing quite well the last couple of months. Oh, yeah, Simon, you know... You, Obviously, very, very good player, and I'm going to have to pull some darts out, so yeah. Looking forward to that. Thank you very much. Johnny Clayton, ihn sehen wir wieder. Er sagt, klar, das muss Ronny natürlich normalerweise machen. Er hatte einfach nur gehofft, dass er die Doppel-2 nicht trifft. Das ist genau passiert. Und er freut sich jetzt auf seine nächste Aufgabe. Simon Whitlock wird dann morgen der Gegner sein. Von